Seven years ago, I built Botello, my first Botello playing Lego robot. It was a true mechanical master failure. Just way too many things that could go wrong and did go wrong. Ever since, I've been thinking of ways to simplify and improve the design. After many attempts, this is what I've come up with. My board consists of 6x6 cells, each one with a gear plate that can slide back and forth and is linked by axles all the way out to one side of the board. A cart travels along this side and can push any of the axles, thereby selectively moving any one of the gear plates. A roller with black, green and white sides and a fourth side for balance is placed in each cell. The human places black and rotates the roller by hand. The cart responds by pushing the axles to turn the rollers to white. The board is filled with rollers, the track for the cart is placed next to it, a switch to mark the end of a move is added, and finally a grid structure is placed on top. Game on! The cart has a color sensor set up to measure the reflected light as it makes a calibration run down the line of axles. One measurement is taken at each position as the sensor passes by. The rollers that represent black discs have their axles protruding half a stud further out than the green ones, leading to less reflected light. After the calibration, the cart flips the switch to signal that a human player can make their first move. Alright then, I'll place my black disc and turn one of the white discs. I'll then switch over to white. The cart is already waiting for that to happen, and uh, as soon as it detects it, it scans all positions to find out what move I made. Reaching the other side of the board, it thinks for a second, a few actually, before moving up to the position it's decided on placing its disc and turning one of mine. It then hands over to me again and I'm making my next move. So does it function this time? Is Botello 2 the wonder of reliability that I had hoped for? Well, no, not quite. The cart works to perfection, it moves to exactly where it should be, it never makes a mistake in judging the color of a disc, it flips the switch correctly each time, it follows the rules of the game without playing too well, you'll see that I'm about to win in this game, but the actuation simply isn't very reliable. I'm getting overshoots and undershoots from too much or too little friction. I'd have to gear down the actuation but also redesign the board and possibly the rollers to fix that. So yeah, someday I'm sure I'll present version 3, but for now it's back to building with instructions.